I hope you're well and having the most incredible day as always welcome back to my channel and in today's video we're going to be doing my February book haul video which did I need to buy more books no no I did not however I'm pretty sure every single book in this pile was from my Amazon wish list and I feel like that's okay because I've thought about it I've put it on my wish list these weren't spear of the moment style purchases so I feel like that's fine Although since buying all these, I have added like 80 more books to my wish list. It's becoming a problem. My Amazon wish list is massive. If you ever want to have a look at it, just for a little giggle, it's always in the description, but it's huge. Anyway, I'm going to be sharing with you the books I've bought. I've bought 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 13 books. So without further ado, I am going to share them with you. I hope you guys enjoy. Let me know down below in the comments. Have you bought any books recently? Have you read any of these? Give me your thoughts without spoilers. I'd appreciate it. And let's go. Let's dive in. I hope you guys enjoy and carry on watching. So the first book I picked up was from Waterstones, and that's X's and O's by Amy Leah, or is it Lee? It could be Leah, I think it's Leah. Um, this is part of a duology with Set On You, which I'm still yet to read, but obviously because I have the first one, I had to pick up the second one, even though I haven't read it yet. That is the sort of person I am. I have a very obsessive personality, so that is why I have it. Um, it was £9 in Waterstones. I think you can actually buy this from the works now, so definitely go and check it out. I think it's £5 on the works, but I'm really excited about it. I think it's to do with a girl who um, falls in love with her flatmate, who's a firefighter, so very excited about that. Sounds amazing. It sounds definitely up my street, so love that. The second book I picked up was Icebreaker by Hannah Grace. This is a very very popular read and I haven't read it yet obviously I've not read any of these books yet by the way just a spoiler alert I haven't read any of them um but this one I'm really excited about it I've heard that it's meant to be amazing I got mine from WH Smith's and it was $8.99 but it was in the two for 12 so I bought two obviously I can't remember what the other book was actually that I picked up I can't remember um but I'm really excited about this one I've heard really good things so love it love a little hockey romance um yeah I'm just really excited about it. I believe, obviously, she's an ice skater. He's an ice hockey player. And the rest is history. So I'm really looking forward to that one. Obviously, I could not go ahead and pick up the final offer by Lauren Asher. Now, this is part of the Dreamland Billionaire series. It's the third and final one in the series. But this one is massive. Like, the others are probably, like, that big. Um, this is, like, double the size, which is insane. It's over 500 pages, um, but I'm really looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to seeing how it concludes. I've only read the first one out of the three. I really, really need to get on and read the second one. Um, but the only thing about this that really grates my gears, and if you watch a lot of book talk, you probably would have known, um, they've changed the spine. So the spines don't match, which makes me really upset because I have severe, like, it just bugs me when things don't match like that so that is going to really annoy me but other than that I'm very excited about this I've heard really good things so far um, and if you have read this let me know your thoughts but I'm really excited about that one then we have two books from Waterstones which I have wanted to buy for months I've gone in there picked them up put them back down and it was simply because they didn't have the first one in stock when I wanted to go and buy them so what I did is I just ordered it so that is what I've done. So I've ordered that one to come in, but I have book two and three, and that is the, what series is this? I don't even know if it has a name, but it's the Neon God series, but I've got book two and three by Katie Roberts. So this, I actually don't know what it's about. I think it's meant to be like a, is it like a Hades retelling-y vibe? Zeus, Helen, are they the same? I'm not sure, um, but I'm really looking forward to it. This one was $11.99. This one was, I think, about the same. Um, I'm really looking forward to it. I love the matte covers. Um, so, yeah, I picked these up from Waterstones. I'd literally gone in there and picked up these same books multiple times. So I thought, you know what, sod it, I'm buying it. And I bought them with my birthday money, so I feel like it doesn't really count. Um, and, yeah, and I've ordered in the first one so I can actually start reading it. And I know that they're releasing two more, um, I think, this year. So I'm really looking forward to that. So I bought those. The next book is by Penelope Douglas and I've only read one book by her before which was Credence which I did actually really enjoy. I gave it four stars. There were a few things in it that I didn't like but if you want to know my opinion watch my February reading wrap up because it will be in there but this is Punk 57 which I've heard really good and bad things about and I really want to give it a go on my own. Um, it doesn't have many 
um, pages, which is really exciting. It has like 315 pages. It has a really good flop to it as well. Like we love that. Um, and I'm just really excited. And the guy in it is called, is it Ryan? It was really close to Ryan. So I just thought, well, I might as well get it. Um, and again, this has been on my wish list for a very long time so I thought you know what now's the time I actually bought this on my birthday me my mum and dad and Ryan went to Cardiff um, shopping on my birthday and I went into Waterstones and picked this one up along with the next two oh I could do the three I have three more I bought four books that day um so I'm really excited yeah that's Punk 57 I'm looking forward to that one another one from Waterstones was The House Across the Lake by Riley Sager I have heard so many good things about this book and I'm really glad I found it in Waterstones actually because I thought it was only available in hardback but I found it in paperback which I much prefer it's just so much more comfortable to read it's not got a great flop to it though so not loving that um however I did actually read it starts with us in hardback and I did enjoy it so I don't know maybe my opinion's changing but I really wanted to give this a go I'm not too too sure what this is about I know that it's about somebody who's noticed there's a house across the lake and it's something to do with a woman maybe she saves her life I think I can't quite remember um I have seen a few reading vlogs where people read this but it sounded really good so I wanted to pick that one up as well then we have the other ones by Fran Hart I've never read a book by Fran Hart before and to be honest with you I think this book was suggested around Halloween time and I had it in my wish list for again for months. A lot of my Amazon wish list books stay in my wish list for months and then I buy them when I really want them. I go through it sometimes and like sieve through ones I don't want anymore, but a lot of the time I add a lot of books to that. But this one's been in there for a while and I thought, you know what, I may as well pick it up. Um I absolutely love the cover. It's just so like Halloween-y and I thought it was really, really sweet looking. So I picked this one up. Again, I think all of these actually were in the two for were they in two for where we get one half price I can't quite remember but I think for four books it was like 35 pounds or something like that but yeah I got this one and I have no idea what it's about but I am really looking forward to giving it a read again if you've read this let me know your thoughts and opinions I would love to know and the last book I got from Waterstones on my birthday was Never Ever Getting Back Together by Sophie Gonzalez and I really really liked the sounds of this sounds of this sound of this um I'm not the biggest Taylor Swift fan I liked OG Taylor Swift like the You Belong With Me era but new stuff not so much much. Please don't hate me for that. It's just my vibe. Anyway, I've heard really good things about this and I just thought, you know what, it sounds like a really nice, easy read. The only thing, again, not a floppy book. Like, I hate that. Like, that's not going to be comfortable to read and I hate breaking the spines. That really just niggles me a little bit. Um, but I am really looking forward to giving this a read as well. And this one was... I don't actually know. But I've just noticed she's got a few more books, so I might have to pick those up. But yeah, that is Never Ever Getting Back Together. Again, looking forward to giving that one a read as well. And the last four books I bought from Amazon. Again, I got these because I wanted to finish this series. And I say finish, I'm literally on the second book. But I just want to have it all so I can binge it all, if you know what I mean. Um, and then the last one I picked up was because it was £4.50. And I thought I may as well. So I'll start with that one. That one was Maybe in Another Lifetime by, no, Maybe in Another Life. Why do I keep saying lifetime? Maybe in Another Life by Taylor Jenkins Reid. I absolutely love um, Taylor Jenkins Reid's style of writing. And I really, really enjoyed The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. And I just wanted to sort of add to my collection of her books and make sure that I have them all. Which is a really bad way to be because it's just expensive um i have a very obsessive personality if you couldn't tell by my dot martin obsession my crystal obsession and now my book obsession i feel like if i buy one book by an author and i love it like i want their whole backlog after that because i envision having a library in a house that i don't own does that make sense no but anyway i bought this four pound fifty on amazon um i wanted to get it i thought they had it in the works but they only had Forever Interrupted and After I Do, which I already bought, so I had to pick this one up just to finish the collection of those because it was bothering me that I didn't own it. And the last three are all part of a series, and that is the Shatter Me series. I've read Shatter Me and the first novella. Um, I do really need to carry on with the series, but I think the way I read, I don't, I don't know what it is. I've started five series. I've read the first book of like five series, and I've not read any more because I think I forget what's happened. Um, so I'm currently finishing A Good Girl's Guide to Murder, which I'm really excited to do. Once I've done that, I might continue the Shatter Me series. So there might be one month where all I've read is the Shatter Me series. Um, but I got Imagine Me, which is this one. I love the covers. 
they are just so beautiful i really really like them and yeah so i got this one from amazon the only thing with amazon i find is sometimes the books come and they are a little bit damaged but i feel like for the price you can't really fault it so much so i got um imagine me i then got defy me which i think is the last one i could be wrong um but i got that one and then i got believe me which is like my favorite cover of all it's so beautiful um it's pink and glittery and it just looks so nice i just love it um and it says for better or for worse on the top and i'm thinking are they going to get married i have no idea i've literally read the first one and a half so i haven't even finished it um but yeah so i bought those three i cannot remember how much these were i think they were around the seven pound mark each um which I think it's like an average amount for books but I just needed to have the rest of the series so I can binge it all so now I have it all so yay me and I'm poor but it was worth it so that is my February book haul I really hope you guys did enjoy and as always I would love to know down below if you've read any of these books your opinions on them what books have you bought recently and also don't forget to check out my Amazon wish list if you want to know what books I'm wanting to buy if you want a bit of inspiration check that out it's always linked in the description but that is everything thank you so so much for watching I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next one bye guys